Good evening, all. Thanks for joining us. We'll start off today's call with uh, general comments on the game from Defender Sam Vines and open up to questions. Oh, just general comment. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I think we come, came out strong at the beginning. Uh, we, we pinned them back early on. And, um, you know, to open up the game, uh, we got a goal um, first half. Uh, that really opened up the game. Um, then we scored a second one. Uh, we love a third uh, one. Uh, Right after we scored, uh, didn't really feel too good, uh, but it was a good response from the guys right after uh, to get to, to get a, get another goal and um, kind of lock down the game. Uh, second half, you know, we we just we just grinded out the the whole rest of the second half and you know did our thing. Uh, you know, didn't let up any goals, didn't score any goals, but uh, we just locked down the game. Uh, good three one win from the from the boys. What's up, Connor Cape, L two Sports Radio. Good evening, Sammy. Um, you scored the opener, and it was a ball that just fell right to your feet as you came running into the box. Can you walk us through what you saw in that play and your finish? Yeah, I mean, I saw I saw Mikey take off, and you know Mikey's going to beat his guy. Um, he's going to get to the end line and get a cross in. Uh, so once he took off, I took off. Um, I saw Diego run t towards the near post. He took everyone towards the near post, opened up the space, and Mikey played a perfect ball to the top of the box, and um, I was able to just slide it home. Um, so credit to Mikey for, for getting in behind and, and making that run, and credit to Diego for making space for me um, to, to have an easy finish. We'll go to Matt Pollard, last word on soccer. Sam, we've talked to Robin in the past, going back to even last year, about you working on and improving your contributions in the final third. And it was really good at times last year, and I know that was something that he wanted to see from you after you made your debut. Talk to me, th your debut this season. Um, t talking about the work that you've put forward to, that led to you being able to contribute offensively in recent weeks, in particular the goal tonight. Yeah, I mean, I just want to contribute uh, the best I can. Um, obviously, I'm a defender, uh, so I have to defend first. But um, the, the system that we play now, uh, it gives me more freedom to go forward and help, help with the attack. Um, gives me more space out wide to, to get crosses in the box and get more production. Um, and you know, just just the the distribution and the and the movement from the guys gives me space to to get in behind. Um, so it helps me. You know, all the guys, uh, the movement that we get, uh, the rotations that we get on the left side uh, between whether it's Baba, whether it's Kellen, our our movement um, just frees up space for me and gives me opportunities to get 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 in good spots, to get crosses in the box. We'll go to Brian Jennings, Burgundy Wave. Hey, Sam. Thanks for some time, man. Um, looked like it was fun out there tonight, I'll tell you, but not much really to worry about f for you guys, you know, kind of in your defending third. How, how was that so strong tonight? Um, I think it just starts with the, with the three guys up front. Um, you know, they start the press and, um, you know, they set the tone, especially Diego up top. Um, you know, he's all over the place. He's an animal up top and, and, and really sets the tone for the, for the rest of the team. Um, obviously, it's a collective effort um, uh, to get the result and, you know, to finish out the game with just one goal scored on us. So um, I think it's just a collective effort of, of working hard and, and a good mentality as a team to, to get a lot of pressure up high. Back to Connor. Uh, Sammy, tonight, Oliver Laraz makes his uh, professional debut, and he's somebody who the coaches seemed really high on coming out of Tucson, who, who earned a spot on this team. What do you see that he gives you guys? What did he provide tonight? Man, he's definitely he, he's an amazing player. I mean, um, he's very good on the ball, very good technically. Um, you know, he, he likes to move the ball across the pitch. He's good at spraying balls. So uh, he's just an all-around box-to-box midfielder, um, you know, really good on the ball, like I said. Um, you know, we're, su we're super, ha super happy for him to get his debut. You know, um, it was just a matter of time. And, and fortunate enough for him, tonight was the night. And, uh, you know, we're all, we're all buzzing for him. You know, he deserves it. He's, re he's worked really hard. Um, especially during preseason to, to get where he is. So we're all happy for him. You know, we're excited, and uh, I'm sure he'll, he'll get a tunnel or something later. <laughs> Back to Matt. Sam, Austin Trustee's not in a good run of games so far this season. I know he wasn't able to play as much as he might have wanted to last year. What's he doing really well next to you and just combining with that back line that's made you guys so sound defensively? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's played really well, um, you know, ever since uh, the start of the season. Um, you know, he's been solid defensively. Um, he's athletic. He can get, uh, you know, stop guys from running in behind. 
Um, and he's good at communicating. You know, we have a good uh, relationship together. Um, we're good at talking to each other and, and moving together. Um, so I think that's that's what makes uh, you know the back line so good is our communication between e each other. Um, and you know, he's he's a leader back there, and and um, yeah, I mean, he's a great player too. I'll take a pause there. I'll be back with Coach Fraser in a few minutes.